So I've built many zip lines in the past, but sadly, they all have one major problem. And that's that when you get to the end of the track, you simply can't go any further. So let's try to fix that by building a zip line that can go infinitely. <laughs> Now, you might think that this is impossible, but guys, I've actually done a little bit of thinking. So, there are certain glitches in build -about that I think might allow me to do this. Let me show you what I'm talking about. A very, very long time, my good friend Fluffy Rock actually ended up showing me this glitch. I, I still have this save slot. I know that he showed it to me, so a massive shout out to him for that. <laughs> I'm looking at this like, Jesse, what the heck am I looking at? This right here is what I would call the weirdest gold grinder ever. Pretty much. You don't have to unanchor it, by the way. This right here is all anchored, as you can see. The only thing that isn't are those three things right there. And pretty much when I start going forward, as you guys can see, even though I'm anchored, this entire build is actually moving. And that's because pretty much everything except the wheel is unanchored. So the wheel is anchored, it teleports, and the build goes, whoa, 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 wait a minute. You're supposed to be right here. And it pretty much corrects the whole build. It's a very, very crazy glitch. Yeah, it's actually gonna just keep going forever, I think. Yeah, it's still going. <laughs> Now, this right here is pretty cool, but what if I told you we can make this way crazier? If we actually went ahead and made this way longer, believe it or not, we wouldn't just teleport a tiny little distance. We would go very far. Look at that. You should teleport straight to the portal. So yeah, right now we're going to teleport right there, which is right here. And it's just going to keep doing this forever, pretty much. Now, imagine if you built your regular zipline track using that glitch. It takes a piece, puts it right in front, puts it right in front again. You could theoretically go forever. So yeah, let's see if we can make this happen. Now, to save myself some time, I am going to use a pre-existing zipline. I think it's this one. It's not this one. Yeah, baby, there it is. We're gonna use this card right here to actually use as the zip line itself. Now, we're gonna have to do quite a bit of fixing with this thing because uh, the mechanic that I actually used right here to actually ride along the track sucks really, really bad. So yeah, we're gonna pretty much have to completely redo this part. Uh, and same as for the actual track. We're gonna completely redo the track as well. So, I mean, honestly, we're building a completely custom thing at this point. <laughs> So yeah, this right here is one of those old crappy tracks that you had to pretty much build all the way to sky limit. Let's just get rid of this crap. All right, so let's see what the actual track type is that we actually want to use because believe it or not, you can make many different kinds. Now, out of all of the different kinds that I can use, I think I think I want to use something that you can't really do in real life, but you can do in build mode. It will make for a track that is more stable than anything I've made before uh, because all the stuff I've made before is supposed to look like real life. And believe it or not, real life sucks. It doesn't, but at least when it comes to build mode mechanics. All right, so let's see. What wheel are we going to be using for? For our track and i think this will be the one this one tends to just be the best for anything that you don't have to rotate all right so this gives us an idea of how big our thing needs to be all right so let's go with this for now and pretty much yeah it can't actually touch those wheels right there so uh we're gonna have to make this a little bit bigger so yeah pretty much what we've made right here is just a giant tube yes guys it's a perfectly smooth circle on the inside but this time it's for very good reason pretty much i want the actual inside wheels to be able to rotate freely pretty much anytime i've done one of these previously i bank on the idea that the wheels don't want to tilt and they always do so with this system theoretically that shouldn't be a problem theoretically um, there's many things that can still go wrong, but I hope this is not the one. <laughs> now, I've just used a very simple 15 degree rotation here. Just, you know, because I could use whatever, really. I just want it to be as smooth as possible. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now, I just got to make this uh, long enough to actually do a proper test. All right, this right here should make for a pretty good test. So yeah, this right here is the actual thing that we're going to be using. All right, then I, I guess we're going to just, uh, I guess we're going to just try it out. And we're sat inside. Um, okay, it is uh, not moving at all. I repeat, absolutely zero movement. All right, I made everything see through. Let's see what's actually wrong right here. So I think this should all be working. Look, the wheels are spinning. Why is it not moving? Wait, two of them aren't. Oh, wait, I think these were per, uh, not linked right. I'm just going to delete two of the wheels. Okay, well, that is definitely making things work a lot better. And as you guys can see, even though it's swinging quite a lot, it's actually doing pretty good. Now, I got to make sure that it doesn't start hitting the ceiling. So what I might actually do, I might only use a single wheel. But this right here is extremely promising. 
this is exactly what I was hoping to see. So it's, yeah, uh, the swing from left to right is uh, not really a problem. Now, to make sure that this is actually the truth and not just uh, a coincidental test. All right, let's see. It's still driving and... Oh, yeah, baby. Yes, as you guys can see, finally, we have one of these that can actually handle, like, uh, uh, incoming forces. It's not gonna... It's not gonna just combust like most others that I've had. <laughs> Even though it's probably not loving this. <laughs> actually, wait, if I set my torque to green? Oh my god, yeah, you said your torque to green actually works. <laughs> yeah, this is exactly what I wanted to see. This is amazing. Perfect. All right, then. So this right here is the final design that we're going to go with for the actual um, repeating track. Let's take all of this stuff right here. Let's just move it to a safe place, like way over there. And then we're going to have to turn this part right here into the actual track. <laughs> This is not really going to be easy, by the way. Okay, so the previous track needs to teleport. Now, one thing I'm not sure of is that if the other wheels also do the same teleporting mechanic. So I'm actually going to have to do a test. Uh... <laughs> okay, so that right there is the exact center of the tube. We're going to have to move this up a couple blocks, so something like that. And then we're going to have to place that exact same portal on the other side. Okay, this is actually far too far forward so yeah pretty much the teleport zone is gonna be somewhere like here if our if, if our little cart right there is in the area between here and there we can teleport if not we will actually fall so yeah i gotta be a little bit cautious so we're gonna have to leave a little bit of space for that and uh... We want to go both ways. You know what? I'm going to make it so we can actually go in both directions. And I'm just going to put that there for now, okay? I will fix this problem later. <laughs> As a famous man once said, that man being me. <laughs> All right. Now, the way you actually want to place these wheels, by the way, is by simply placing them like this, of course. Uh, and then you actually want to rotate them 180 degrees. So, like so. Wait, what? Why does it rotate from there? Okay, well, I guess that's not going to work. All right, I'll place a block to fix it. All right, that, that fixed it. That fixed it. All right, let's rotate this to the other side. Boom. There you go and delete the wooden block now we're gonna move this forward by zero point yes 0 0.2 we're gonna move this in and then we're gonna move it back by like two boom just like so now i know that seemed pretty random you could also just move it one way 0 0.8 or 1.8 i don't care you do what you want to do okay i'm just thinking out loud <laughs> all right then piston a block that we're actually gonna scale into our tube like so. And we want to set this piston to 0. Point, or sorry, not 0. 0.2. We want to set this piston to 2. Boom. Just like that. So in theory, when we move... Wait, no. We want to move the portal, not the wheel. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. All right, guys. We're going to pretend I never messed that up. Uh, we're going to actually place a block there. And uh, yeah, you want to just stick the wheel without piston to the thing. And then right here, we're going to place a block. Actually, wait. No, not a block. We're going to place a piston. And we're going to set this one to, to 2. Yeah, a piston length. And actually, piston speed 10. You want them to be very fast. All right. And then we want to connect that part to the uh, tube as well. All right, that should be this part right here fully done. All right, then let's try out the zipline part. Now, theoretically, we should be able to just simply place a chair right there and... Okay, well, actually, we need a controllable chair. My bad, my bad, my bad. Boom, like so. Save that, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, we should be able to select all except the wheel. Only the wheel needs to be anchored. I don't anchor it. And when we press forward, as you guys can see right there with the portal, we move the portal forward. Not quite enough. Uh, that's exactly what you want to do. So you want to actually change the length to 2.5. Uh, that's all part of the plan, but when you do... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, I wonder if I wanted to travel to the end, if, uh, if that would be possible. <laughs> Dude, this is so sick. Yes! Dude, it's actually totally working. Now, right here, we've pretty much just created, like, a, a very, very easy gold grinder. Um, that allows you to not even unanchor your blocks and still make it to the end. But that's not what we're going to be doing today. Like I said, we're going to have to add in the actual... Uh, I forgot the name of it. <laughs> add the zip line. We're going to have to add the actual zip line in. So, uh, stupid electric stage, I hate you. But it can't really do all that much to us because, believe it or not, like I said, we are still anchored. <laughs> now, guys, the reason that we actually have this wheel right here, he had a very short distance because what i'm gonna make it do is actually just tap oop and then stop and then whenever i'm ready again all i need to do is press the key bind and what it will do i can teleport this entire thing on command oh wait oh my god are you kidding me <laughs> So our wheel actually ended up being perfectly inside of this block, which is the only thing you can do to break it. Well, that's unfortunate. That means that we're actually going to have to move that wheel or that will happen every single time. <laughs> Man, we made it to the end. Very good stuff. Now let's add in the zip line. So yeah, let's actually 
fix this uh, piston right here. It needs to be a little bit longer. 0 0.5 will do. Sorry, 2.5 will do. Then what we're also going to do real quick is actually change this piston that it doesn't just automatically fire and keep firing off because pretty much the moment that this piston is inside of that wheel, it will keep teleporting as often as the portal can. So we don't want that to happen. And what we're going to do about it is this right here. We're going to place a delay right... Mm, where do we want to place it? I'll place it right down here. Okay, boom delay. Boom delay. So what we're going to do is we're going to link that to the piston and also that to the piston and like back to that and i think if i'm not mistaken let me test this out real quick if i press activate it will push forward and then immediately return oh it saves the command that i send oh so just activating it twice won't do if only there was something like a pressure plate if we could use a pressure plate to activate this thing it would have been perfect oh wait i think i actually have an idea okay if this works this is gonna be magical <laughs> Okay, so that is constantly sending a back signal. Now, if I disconnect that and connect that instead, I think if I just press W, yeah, it will automatically go forward and return. Look at it doing the thing. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. All right, then let's get this entire thing finished up. The only thing we do now is actually uh, simply this part right here. I think all of that right there is actually done. So I have a chair with two delays. I'm going to send a back signal and it will just keep repeating that signal the entire time. Now, I'm going to make the keybind to actually Actually, um, what's the word? Uh, like pull to go forward. I'm going to make that the keybind E. So I'm going to just make it like, I don't know, M. <laughs> All right. So let's do pull M, push E. So yeah, it will actually move the whole thing forward when we press E. All right, then time to build the actual thing right here. So we're going to pretty much keep what we have. We're going to make a slight change right here. So currently, I mean, obviously it looks a little bit of a mess as well. And we don't want it to look like a mess. So we're going to take this stuff right here, delete it. No, because things were actually a little bit broken. I think I know why that is. It's because our wheels are currently right inside of each other. So we're actually going to take 0.1. We're going to move these by 0.1 to the side. So now they should both be able to work. And yeah, like I mentioned earlier, we actually want to get rid of two of them and just have one set of wheels. So those will end up right there. And we want to make sure that our cart connects properly. All right, that's looking perfect. Okay, all right, perfect. So yeah, we don't want that stuff to touch right there. And then what we're going to do right here, we're going to just go in with a block right there, making sure not to touch the sides. And that right there should be everything we need to get done done. Now that actually looks like it's meant to be. <laughs> Okay, so if everything went according to plan, those wheels will still spin right. We just got to make sure to link them to the right chair. Okay, that's linked. And then we want to make sure to link that to there. And I think that is everything done, guys. Let's give this thing a proper test spin. <laughs> All right, then let's sit down for the moment of truth. Move it forward. Ah, oh, it worked. Oh, wait, no, wait, it's still going. Wait, what? Why is the clock not working? Oh, I messed up the key binds. No, no, it worked. <laughs> No! Return! All right, it is finally working properly. <laughs> All right, if I'm not mistaken, we can... Kabang! Yes! We're going! Wait, we're going... Oh, I didn't think about the fact that we could turn. Oh, dang it. Okay, let's at least try out the manual single teleport. Okay, single teleport does work. So we can teleport it one time whenever we need to. Okay, let me fix the <laughs> let me fix the cart. All right, then, baby, here we go. Now, there's absolutely no way this is going to go wrong, other than forgetting to unanchor things. <laughs> We're moving forward. Okay, currently, I've set everything to pretty slow. Okay, I want to just make sure that nothing is going to break first. So I get right here, all the way to the end, perfectly right, and then I just press the keybind. <laughs> yes! Look, guys, I can just keep going forward, and whenever I reach the end... Okay, actually, I gotta, I gotta speed this thing up. This is just getting ridiculously slow. Yeah, that's more like it a little faster. And then I just press E. And... <laughs> yes! Oh, that's amazing. Look, we just we just did it again. We, 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 whenever we want to, we can keep going forward. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Flip forward. There you go. Oh. This looks so cursed. <laughs> I don't know why, but actually traveling backwards is a lot faster. All right, in just a second. Yeah, yeah, people are joining. People are joining. <laughs> okay, I got to make sure that they're actually looking. Okay. <laughs> and move forward. Right, I made everything invisible. Is everything broken? It doesn't like being invisible. Huh? Oh, wait, the server's probably lagging. Yeah, yeah, the server was just lagging. The server was just lagging. <laughs> and we're going to go forward again. Dude, if only the server wasn't lagging right now. All right, we're going to keep going all the way to the end. And boop. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and we're in the stages! Let's freaking go! Actually works! <laughs>
They're like, wow, wow, it's teleporting. Dude, this looks so cursed. I love it. Now, previously, if a guy did this to me where they fly into me, that would have totally broken everything. But this time around, not so much of a problem. Uh-oh, he's crashed into the ocean. Oh my goodness me, what the heck was that? Trying to, trying to, what the heck? Trying to explode me. Oh, none of these guys can mess me up. This is truly the first ever really, really good system for this. This would have broken, I would have br been broken so many times before. Oh, that's amazing. No, wait, it went twice. No, come back. Oh my God. Well, I'm just going to leave it teleporting then. There it goes off into the distance. <laughs> oh my God, guys. What was that? I'm going to be ending off today's video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and actually like the video if you enjoyed this because this was a pretty time consuming video. Uh, but yeah, guys, with that, I'll see you later, boys. Peace.